everyone. It's Bonnie. Happy Thursday. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am back. I am way more organized than I was this morning. I have got so much information about Candle Day at Bath and Body Works. I am going to share all of the details. I went in the store. Yeah, I got in the store. There was nobody there. I got pictures. I'm going to put a screenshot of Candle Day is being set up as we speak. So I have updated news. I have updated tips. I have updated pricing information about the entire Candle Day event. And check it out. I got new Candle Day candles to share with you guys. I'm so excited. Also, got Santa. I totally wasn't going to do it, but the candle pedestals for Christmas are 50% off. I had a $10 off coupon. I got Santa for $27.95. I'm going to do a separate review on this. You guys know how much I was going back and forth on Santa. Now that he's home... I love this. Oh my gosh. So check out the pedestals tomorrow for Candle Day. Oh my gosh. So first thing first, pricing. Oh my gosh. So Bath & Body Works finally released the pricing for Candle Day. It is going to be $9.95. Unfortunately, online, you are going to have to use a code. The code is Candle Day Limit 18. I don't know if they're doing free shipping either. So you do 18, you're going to have to add shipping in. It's going to be a little bit pricier than that $9.95 uh, price point, um, which I know a lot of people are talking about. I saw a lot of people talking on Instagram about that, that um, you can't use a coupon online, which is unfortunate. If you can get to the store, you're going to get the $9.95 price point, and then you can use a coupon, which if you have a 20% off coupon, let me do the math for you guys, $9.95 minus 20%, it's going to be $7.96. I don't even have any 20% off coupons left. The only thing I have left are the 10 off 40 so if you were to buy five candles at $9.95, that's going to come to $49.75 minus 10 equals $39.75 divided by five. It's going to come into about $7.95 per candle if you go into stores and buy five candles with the 10 off. You buy more candles, the price point's going to go up because the coupon only gives you 10 off. So I'm not seeing a lot of coupons floating around out there. So if you have your coupons, definitely use them. Uh, but even if you don't have a coupon, the good news is the price point's under $10, which that's what I've been telling everyone. Go with the $10 price point to do your wish list. Now, there are two different ways to shop Candle Day, online and in-store. If you are an App Rewards member, you can shop online early tonight 8 p.m. to midnight Eastern Standard Time. There's going to be a queue. All of the candles are up right now. I don't know if they're going to add more, but right now um, they did add a lot of the candles. They did not add Paris Cafe. I got more on that a little bit later. <laughs> um, but they say new for candle day. So they have the collections uh, like your Tipsy Elf, your mashups, which include uh, the cinnamon spiced uh, vanilla, hot cocoa, and cream. They have the wrapping paper candles. They have a lot of collections up. They also added a lot of fall candles, which I know people are interested in. The caramel pumpkin swirl, the banana walnut muffin. Lots of candles online to shop for tonight. So the next option for shopping is, of course, in store. Check your store hours. Mine opens at 5 a.m. tomorrow. Not going to be there at 5 a.m. So I went there today because as many of you know, uh, my husband has multiple myeloma and he just had a stem cell transplant. I get really, really uncomfortable when there's too many people in the store, um, especially with, you know, flu season coming upon us. So I will be shopping Candle Day a little bit different 
than you. I'm going to do an online order tonight. I am so doing an online order. I cannot wait. Bath and Body Works did send me 12 candles to review and preview. I'm going to be reviewing a couple of those later today. Um, and then I just picked up two new candles. I did pay full price for them, but I took it for the team, you guys. I, <laughs> I'm on your team. <laughs> I took it for the team. I wanted to review Tipsy Elf and French Baguette today um, so that you kind of know what you're going into uh, tonight and tomorrow. So my strategy is a little bit different uh, being a vlogger, but there are at least 10 candles I'm going to order tonight. I think that's what my limit is tonight online. I'm doing 10. I'm doing 10. Later today, uh, let me know if you want me to do my top 10 favorite candle day candles. I might do a video on that. I got a lot of content coming. I think I might do that one right around launch time and I'll give you an update on um and everything that's happening online. I gotta go, I gotta go find I said that yesterday. I'm like, I gotta go find my wine cellar in the basement. <laughs> a couple people are commenting about that. The wine cellar candle I did uh smell today. So go online, check out the candles. It's a little bit difficult to see um the jars online, which is why I want to show you a couple of them now. They're so pretty in person. One of the prettiest collections is this collection. Oh my goodness, this is actually gorgeous in person. It's got a little sparkle to it. And I don't know why this year, I am digging Peach Bellini so much. This candle smells so fresh. Um, I also want to talk a lot about, um, like, I guess they call it like the exclusive collection. Um, that is going to be your candied maple bacon, the unicorn sprinkles, the wine cellar, the French baguette, the tipsy elf, and the banana bun cake. I did smell banana bun cake, by the way, in the store. It smells so good. It smelled really fresh. I was like, darn, I <laughs> buy more of these. It was so hard to only buy two. I'm like, I'm only paying full price for two, you guys. <laughs> so the two candles that I selected were Tipsy Elf and French Baguette. However, I'm going to put a screenshot up right here. I'm a little bit nervous about um, this exclusive collection. There were not a lot of these on the table. I was actually um, pretty surprised. I got to find my screenshot. I'll put that up when I edit. Um, there were maybe 20 to 25 per candle of that collection. Now, are there more in the back? Possibly. However, a lot of times when Bath & Body Works does like a special collection, there aren't that many to go around. So I have a feeling these are going to sell out first because um, generally people are interested in these. A lot of people, they don't shop Bath & Body Works as much as you and I. <laughs> if you've been watching my channel <laughs> and if you're brand new, welcome. But you may not have been in Bath & Body Works that much over the past year and you're going in for Candle Day uh, to experience some new candles. Um, so you may not remember Unicorn Sprinkles from years ago. Um, and people are going to be grabbing this because it's delightful. It's donuts, it's unicorns. Uh, this is going to fly off the shelves. It smells like lemon cotton candy. I think it's a little different formula from the last one because it smells good to me and I wasn't crazy about the first one. Tipsy Elf is another one that everybody is talking about. So yesterday I did a video speculating whether or not Tipsy Elf was butter rum eggnog because check it out that the labels are like identical except for the little uh, couch there. One is an elf and one has butter rum eggnog. It is not butter rum eggnog, you guys. I actually smelled it in the store and went, what is this? Um, it has pink wax and it says, uh, Mary Vanilla Jelly Nutmeg, a sneaky elf with a heavy splash of rum. I am leaning towards this being holiday cheer. Um, I haven't smelled holiday cheer in about a month. I think I had it up here about a month ago. Um, it's giving me holiday cheer vibes. I personally like holiday cheer. That was like one of my favorites from last year. And I'm liking this one. It's just weird because you expect to smell butter rum eggnog. And I was like, no, it's kind of like you ever go, <laughs> you ever go somewhere and you order like 
a McDonald's Coke and they give you uh, Dr. Pepper and you drink it, you're like, oh, <laughs> like, what is this? <laughs> That's kind of what happens because, like, I really was hoping that this is butter rum eggnog and I had to, like, go, what? What is this? I think it's Holiday Cheer, but I will do a comparison a little bit later on that one. Um, I also picked up French Baguette. This is a pretty fabulous, famous candle that Bath & Body Works brings out. I have the single wick coming. It smells really bready and cold. It smells wonderful burning, though. It is slow-rising dough, crisp crust, crisp crust, <laughs> I can't say that, you guys, and a pat of butter. I even like it. I even like it cold this year. Um, I love the packaging on this one. It's beautiful. A lot of people are going to be trying to get French baguette. Same with wine cellar. I'm going to put a picture up of wine cellar that I took in the store. I smelled wine cellar. Oh my gosh, it's wonderful. I got to bring that one up. Uh, we're going to talk about wine cellar. So if you want these kind of exclusive candle collections, um, I would order online tonight or I would be at the store at 5 a.m. Because what's going to happen is people are going to come in tomorrow morning. They're going to see these and they're just going to grab them right off the shelf and they're, they're going to be gone. And like I said, I don't know if they're bringing them back. I remember when they had the, remember the strawberry pound cake. Um, I thought there was another one coming out. Tess had said there was another candle. Um, I thought it was like, what the heck? Uh, if you go to Tessa's website, uh, Life Inside the Page, she's got a lot of really, really good um, candle day information too. And I always recommend viewing other vloggers, uh, Tina Marie, Philly Candleman, um, you know, the Candle Channel. There's so many good reviewers out there. A lot of the smaller channels, you're going to get a better, um, you know, opinion when you view like all of us because we all have different opinions we all like different stuff um i can't even find the one that tess was talking about i thought there was another one it was like a blueberry uh marshmallow bar i think it was i don't see that one at all which brings me to um a lot of times when you see stuff online you know it might be a test candle it might not have made it to candle day so you kind of have to be careful um because you, you never know what you're going to get <laughs> once candle day shows up uh paris cafe a lot of people were talking about paris cafe uh that is one that is not online i don't know why there are so few of the white barn candles i noticed that this morning um i'm not seeing a lot of the white barn candles online um, for Candle Day. I did see them in the store. I saw the watermelon lemonade. I'm going to put a screenshot up. Everyone wants Paris Cafe. They had a decent amount of the Paris Cafe. It looks beautiful. I love the packaging in the white barn. Um, that's another one that's like, where where is it online? So there are a few little uh, Scooby Doo mysteries going on here on where all of these candles are. The mashups. I got to talk about the mashups, you guys. Oh, my goodness. So uh, Bath & Body Works sent me uh, cinnamon spiced vanilla, hot cocoa and cream, aloha kiwi passion fruit, and tiki beach. I like them both. However, I smelled... Oh, my goodness, you guys. Um, I'm going to put a screenshot up right here. Uh, the blueberry... Where did it go? I got to get the name of it. Sugared lemonade and blueberry. It's blue wax. Oh my gosh. This is like sugar overload and it's blueberry lemonade. I love it. I actually like that better than the, um, the unicorn sprinkles. It's wonderful. The other one that I loved was the Waikiki Beach and um, the cinnamon. I thought that was just like absolutely fabulous. Where is that one? I'm not seeing Oh, cinnamon stick and Waikiki Beach coconut. I love that one. Oh my gosh. I was like, I was like, I want to buy it like right now. <laughs> like I'm not paying $25, <laughs> but that one smell. That's like, I have to get that one tonight. So I'm super excited about that one. Um, and I don't know online. I don't know if all of these are going to start selling out online. We just don't know. So here's the next step. Knowing what we know now, um, get your candle day wish list ready. I got a couple updates to mine. Have your wish list ready for when you're shopping tonight. 
look at some of the set notes. If you go to my blog, queenofthegirlgeeks.com, um, you're going to see a lot of the candles on there. Uh, check out uh, Tessa's blog, Life Inside the Page, and um, get ready because eight o'clock is like, what, six hours away, and it's, it's going to come fast. <laughs> so I got to get ready now. If you are shopping tomorrow morning, um, be aware that you might have to stand in line outside. I don't know how many people they're letting in at a time, if there's any restrictions. Um, there might be capacity restrictions on some of the stores. Make sure when you walk in the store, you grab your crate. They already have the crates setting out. As I was walking through the store, they're bringing out like tons of candles. They're just like loading up everywhere. We are a fairly large Bath and Body Works connected to a white barn. White barn is full. Um, another collection, I don't have these on my desk right now. Where did it go? Um, that uh, the perfume signature collection, like the You're the One, A Thousand Wishes. People are going to definitely be after those. I don't think I remember seeing these in the store, like Beverly Rosé. Um, I, I, I saw so much. I was like, <laughs> one thing I did see in the store, right when you walk in, um, I don't know if this is like a floor set, but I saw this wrapping paper collection. I'll put a screenshot up right here. These are gorgeous. I'm like, oh my gosh, definitely consider getting vanilla balsam. It's wonderful. Merry Cookie is part of that one. Um, the Perfect Christmas actually is the Perfect Christmas. Um, let's see what else. Oh, Cranberry Parabellini. Not a fan, but that blue jar is so pretty. I'm like, I want the whole collection. So I really think Candle Day is going to be exciting this year. Um, when I was in the store, I was just walking around smiling. I'm like, this is awesome. It was. It was awesome. How many candles were out? Um, you know, the associates were excited. Everybody was putting stuff out. It was just a joy to walk around Bath & Body Works and see all this stuff. So you're going to find something, whether it be like a Christmas candle that you've been wanting for $9.95. I got all my Christmas candles over here or um, a new candle. So I will be on later. I'm going to light some of these up. We're going to do some reviews. And then um, after I shop tonight at eight, I'm going to come on and talk about my experience. And I'm going to tell you what I bought. And I think then I'll do my top 10 recommendations uh, for candle day based on like what I have and what I'm getting. Anyway, whoo, we got a lot to talk about today. It's going to be an exciting day. I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.